my name is Joe Henderson from Joe Henderson Disc Golf and I am here to bring you a review on the Grip Equipment CX-1. I have been sponsored by Grip Equipment for about 10 months now and this is my honest review of how I like the bag. In this video, I'll be talking about some of the features of the bag, my likes and dislikes, my experience, and then also lastly, who this bag is for. So let's go into the features of the bag. First off, let's go into the main compartment. We have a capacity of 16 discs in this main compartment. In the top compartment, we have three putters up here. And then in this pocket here, you can put your keys. There's a little key holder. There's also some pockets for small accessories, but I like to put my two upshot discs, my two zones right in the top there. On the main compartment, we also have a front flap here or a front pocket. And I like to put my mini or a caddy book, but you can honestly use it for anything. This bag has side compartments that are expandable and it honestly allows you to store so much more in your bag. There are two of them on either side and you can adjust them like that. The bag also has two insulated water bottle holders and they have held up very well. This is my 32 ounce Nalgene and it holds, it slides right in there and I don't have any problems taking it in or out. In the side compartments, we have an extra storage compartment up at the top here, which I like to hold my mini or some food up in there. And then I have a rain cover, oftentimes a jacket, a couple of towels, and you can fit so much in that side compartment. And there's a sneaky little hidden spot to put your mini in here or whatever else you might desire. On this side, I have an Apex rangefinder as well as like some mosquito spray, some sunscreen, any of those types of things that would help me on the course. On this bag, you have the option to put an umbrella. So I've done it where I put the foot of the umbrella just right in here, and then this can hold your umbrella in and you can use this strap to tighten it in and it just holds onto your bag and it stays secure. Now let's move on to the back of the bag. So at the back here, we have some really, really nice padding at the top. We have two sections of padding for your upper back as well as one for your lower lumbar support. And it is covered in mesh and it is breathable, it is durable, and it's sweat wicking, so it keeps you cool as well. Honestly, this handle, I hold the bag from here all the time, I pick it up this way, and this handle, I find that it's held up really, really well. I've been using this bag, like I said, for 10 months. So I feel like it's done really well in that regard. It has a secret compartment here to hold anything that you might need. I sometimes keep Band-Aids or my phone or some Advil or Tylenol in there. All right, now that we have that covered, let's go into the build and materials. We have some white KK zippers, which are the standard quality, kind of the highest quality you can get for zippers and they work wonder wonderfully. The fabric is a durable, and it is a water resistant fabric. I've never had any issues with my discs getting wet or rained on or anything along those lines. So that's awesome. And then we also do have some Duraflex hardware on the sides. The plastic is really, really good and it holds up. Next, I'm going to cover what I like the most about this bag. For me, I have a pretty short to torso and I find that this bag is actually a shorter design. I've tried other bags that hit the bottom of my tailbone and it feels like something's just kind of rubbing on the back of my tailbone, but this bag, I don't have that problem. I find that the length of the bag for my height is perfect. In the rare occurrence that my bag does tip over, I find that all of my discs stay inside the compartments. And I have had a different experience with other companies where sometimes my discs will just be spilt all over the floor or all over the ground, and then I have to clean them all up. But this one doesn't have that problem and your discs will stay in your bag. The other thing that I love about this bag is that I can just pop it into my Zuka cart and then I have a cart for a longer course or a course that maybe I would want a seat on or a little bit more storage. So that's a super nice option to have. Moving into some of the dislikes, we have the cost. This bag is definitely pricey, but I know that the craftsmanship, the durability and the lifetime warranty will pay for itself. If you invest in this bag, it will last you a lifetime. So like I was saying before, sometimes when I'm driving, my bag does tip over, but I have never had any of my discs fall out. So I would say that's like kind of an annoying thing, but at least none of my discs will fall out of the bag. 
I did have one experience where the bag almost didn't fit into the overhead compartment while I was traveling. That was an exception because it was a pretty small plane and any other airline that I've been with has been totally fine and it has fit perfectly up in the top compartment. Lastly, I'd love to talk about who this bag is for. From my opinion, I think that the bag is for the casual player. The bag is for anyone who is wanting to get competitive and playing tournaments. I think that this bag is for someone who wants to buy one bag and have it last their lifetime. This is the bag for you. Overall, my experience has been that this bag is a durable product. It is comfortable. And I find that in a tournament setting, it holds everything that I need without being too much. And honestly, I find that it is just a quality product. I really, really, really stand by this bag. The CX-1 grip bag is by far my favorite bag on their lineup. Thanks so much for watching. I really do thank you guys for supporting my channel and what we do here. If you could like and comment and subscribe, that would be amazing so that you can stay tuned for the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.